Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Before we introduce some exciting electrostatic experiments, let's understand the basics of electrostatics. What is meant by a neutral object? Objects are composed of atoms, each containing an equal number of positively charged protons and negatively charged electrons. This balance makes the atom neutral, and consequently, objects composed of such atoms are neutral as well. Charging up an object takes place when the object gains or loses electrons. The object becomes negatively charged if it gains electrons and positively charged if it loses electrons. Let's start with the charging by friction or charging by rubbing. In this experiment, the ebonite rod is wrapped against a piece of fur. In charging by friction, one of the objects loses electrons to the other. In this experiment, the ebonite rod gains electrons and becomes negatively charged, while the piece of fur loses electrons and becomes positively charged. At electric equilibrium, the two objects have the charges of opposite signs. In this experiment, when the negatively charged rod is brought into contact with the knob of a neutral electroscope, we observe that the leaves of the electroscope diverge. This process is called the charging by contact. In charging by contact, electrons are transferred from one object to the other. At electric equilibrium, the two objects have charges of same sign. A charged rod is brought near the knob of an electroscope without touching it. We observe that the leaves of the electroscope diverge. Also, the degree of divergence diminishes as the rod is moved away from the knob. This process is called the charging by induction. Now, let's explain what happens in the charging by induction. Consider a neutral conductor. If a negatively charged rod is brought near the left side of the conductor, then the rod repels the free electrons from the left side to the right side of the conductor. As a result, the left side becomes positively charged and the right side becomes negatively charged. In the charging by induction, positive and negative charges are separated inside the conductor due to the motion of its electrons. So we can conclude that the net charge of the conductor remains constant. Let's observe the three ways of charging in one experiment. The negatively charged ebonite rod is brought in contact with the electroscope, which becomes negatively charged. Touch the electroscope to discharge it. Now, the glass rod becomes positively charged by friction. It is brought in contact with the electroscope, which becomes positively charged by contact. Touch the electroscope to discharge it. The ebonite rod is negatively charged now by friction. When it is brought close to the knob of the electroscope, the leaves are diverging. The leaves converge when the rod is brought away from the electroscope. Observe this experiment. Initially, the suspended conducting object is attracted to the rod. But after coming into contact with it, the object is repelled by the rod. Let's explain this phenomenon. When a negatively charged rod is placed near a neutral conducting object, the object becomes charged by induction. As a result, the left side of the object becomes positively charged, causing it to be attracted to the rod. When the object comes into contact with the rod, it becomes charged by contact. As a result, the object and the rod acquire the same charge, causing the object to be repelled by the rod. Focus please! This is important! In this activity, we start by charging the comb negatively by rubbing it with her. When the comb is brought close to a pencil, the pencil is attracted to the comb. Why? Actually, when the comb is charged negatively by rubbing it with her, it repels electrons in the pencil, creating a positive charge near it. This positive charge then attracts the pencil towards the comb. When wrapped against her, a balloon gains electrons 
becoming negatively charged while the hair loses electrons becoming positively charged thus when it brought it close the hair is attracted to the balloon In this activity, the negatively charged ebonite rod repels electrons in the water stream, resulting in a positive charge on the side facing the rod. Since opposite charges attract, the water stream bends towards the rod. Initially, the neutral straw does not stick to the TV screen. Now the straw is wrapped against a piece of fur and becomes negatively charged. Therefore, it repels electrons on the screen, creating a positive region facing the straw. This positive region then attracts the straw, causing it to stick. In this activity, the girl stands on a plastic stand to prevent electric discharge with the ground. The girl touches the metal ball on top of the Van de Graaff generator. The girl's body is charged positively by contact. Because like charges repel each other, this positive charge spreads through her hair strands. As a result, the individual hairs experience repulsion, causing them to stand on end to maximize the distance between them. Observe this phenomenon. We increase gradually the voltage between the two electrodes, and then a visible arc of light is produced. Let's explain this phenomenon. The breakdown voltage of a dry air is about 30 kV per centimeter, and the electrodes are 10 cm apart. So, electric discharge occurs when the voltage exceeds 300 kV between them, producing a visible arc of light. In this activity, as the man approaches the open gas valve of a Benson burner, electrostatic induction pulls electrons in the gas towards the positive charge in his finger. This creates a strong enough electric field for a spark to jump the gap, igniting the flammable gas.